right, welcome back from the break. This is The Tea. My name is Laura Mata, and I'm joined by the beautiful, talented TV producer, film enthusiast, and model. Hey, Antonia Nyatello. I have to remind them, like, someone you like, know, that chick, what did she say she do? Yes. Yes, my name is Nyatello and I am all those beautiful things that she has said. And of course my co-host is so much more. <laughs> Guys, I'll be I'll be quite honest. Like I'm a bit disappointed. You know me, I have a big crush on Nyatello's mom. Like she's such a boss. Oh. So I know she is. I thought you were coming. Eh, you thought it was her. I'm sent sorry. A sub. You Imagine will have to, sent a sub to, to uh, deal with me. Imagine. Imagine. It's okay. Imagine. So we're having a wonderful time. Thank you. How's your mom? She's great. She's Fantastic. super good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still making boss moves? Big boss moves. I like the as make man. Yes. Anyway, as we continue, <laughs> the only news that we should be talking about this week is and saying is and we should be saying a big congratulations to Rihanna and Ace Rocky. Yes, TMZ came out this week to say that Rihanna has had her bouncing baby boy. I'm actually super, super excited because I'm such a big fan of both of them. In fact, I think I am in love with both of them. So, you know? Wow. I mean, wow. I, like now, like I told you guys, I'm so happy it's a boy. So, you know, like Rihanna, then me. Yes, uh, like, yes. Rihanna's baby, Just, then me. This, so it's not like mm -hmm. Rihanna's baby and then me. Yes, like, yes, yeah, yes, yes. I mean, yes. The congratulations to them. It's the biggest baby since Kim Kardashian. I Definitely. Think. Or Kylie. I think Kylie. Or since Kylie. Beyonce. Yeah. I mean, because oh, oh, we're talking about people with talent. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. So, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna and Ace of Rocky. I can't wait to hear the baby name, especially in Rihanna's accent. It must be so interesting. Like yeah. I'm so intrigued. I'm so waiting to hear what they. To date, we still don't know Nicki Minaj's son's name. He doesn't. She call him like Papa Bear. Bear. Papa Bear. Imagine. Dear Lord. You know it would be funny if that's his actual name. Imagine it's possible because these stars, they name their kids whatever comes to mind. Like when Kylie first came out and said that the kid was called Wolf. Wolf? It's a strong <laughs> a wolf, I mean. Wolf? You know, but she changed it and now we don't know what it is. Guys, as we wait to see this baby fashion, just like we've been following Northwest and Stormy, yes. who have been style icons, let's talk about the. Before that, let's just get this out of the way. Mm. There's this guy, mm. Eric Pomondi. Ah, yeah, what yeah, was yeah, he yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Eric, do you need help? We are, we are reaching out. If you need help, you can find me at Natello on all my platforms, please. Pictures of Eric on Nairobi gossip side by side with Kim Kardashian, like cost a star. But this is something that he's actually said. He does this for the mm. views. He mm. does this for the numbers. Mm. And clearly it's working because we are talking about him and we keep talking mm. about him. So for whatever reason we talk about you, we are talking about you. Can you just say like, you know like the way you speak in the mirror like three times and then it appears? Yeah. So it's Eric, Eric, Eric. He's, he's there. So <laughs> there, you refresh your feed, he shows but up in I something like ridiculous. I feel like if we are talking about you, it should be for good things. I feel like these days we're always talking about Eric for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, I mean, he used to do comedy, he used to have some fantastic shows, mm. he used to sell out in Tanzania. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something that Chibukizi, I think, is probably trying to bring back with his yes, tour in the States coming back. He's probably learned a few things. I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. But we're no longer talking about Eric, about his entertainment we're talking about who he's dating and you know how it's scandalous and, and all these and other this. publicity stunts that he keeps having because mm. I, mm. it's too much See your publicity much. stunts something that people are really disappointed about is being and the post he made about guys in bed sitters guys there's really nothing wrong with living in a bed sitter <laughs> i didn't move back home because i used to live in a mansion and i just got lonely what please <laughs> But so <laughs> it wasn't a bad sitter, but still, like you know, you start from somewhere, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even if you don't start from somewhere, not everyone is sharing the same plate you have. And I get it; it's jokes on social media, but you never really understand the story behind jokes. Yes. You see a lot of these pictures. You see a bunch of chicks sleeping on the floor with a bag of KFC, no bed, mm. their phones are charging. Oh, this is how slay queens prepare to leave the house. Fine. It's okay. all fun and games until you learn the story behind it. So allegedly, uh, apparently, not allegedly, this is confirmed. This mm. guy works for Jalango TV or yes. Jalango himself. Yes. And he came out and said that he, this, this picture reminds him of a dark time in his in life. In his past, yeah, definitely. And it's something that's brought him shame and depression. And he feels like he deserves, deserves compensation and an apology. Mm. I'm not sure about the compensation part, but he deserves an apology from Bien. Mm. Haven't seen one yet. But I do agree that, you know, if something like this does come up, you should. Definitely. People's feelings matter. 
the situation should have been handled better i think it's just been blown out of proportions yeah. and when they started losing followers instead of actually bashing their fans by posting such like i think he should have just apologized and it, we would have all been like oh our our heroes because such soul is big in Very fact big. probably the biggest artist that we have right now oh, yes. in the country so if they told us sorry we'd be very fast to be like okay it's okay i, I forgive you you I mean, know listen, <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna stop listening to such so i'm not gonna unsubscribe from their youtube but i just say like if someone comes out and says they feel offended by something i feel Apologize. it's just right especially because it, i don't feel like it was something that's so big that you can't come back from mm. but you could just say sorry mm. but anyway. now it's just getting worse and worse Silence is never the cure, but uh, whatever he chooses to do, his career is And the guy in the picture, get that European tour money. Ebu? You know, get yes. that money. Sue them. Go to courts. Defamation. <laughs> emotional damage. This is actually a real Trauma thing. Trauma. Reminding me of very dark times in my past that I do not want to revisit. Hey. Okay. You know they have such a huge following. People they just say that the amount of shame he felt me use my pictures guys i'm ready to sue you for your money who wants me to send them some very intimate photos not intimate Ooh. but like personal <laughs> pictures of my past you use them i'm ready to sue ready i will take you to court <laughs> I, really, I, I really want someone to to make fun of it so i can sue them yes really yes but anyway let's move on to something that i know wherever susan is is enjoying watching this mm, mm. i know you're not feeling great but I, yes enjoy this I feel like Stealth we're talking sport. about the Courtney and Chavis oh, wedding. Yes. Which oh. is the third one, actually. Because mm. they had the first one, which was a fake wedding in Las Vegas. They just mm. wanted to have some fun. And then they had their second civil wedding, which was in California. And mm. now finally, they have had the big ceremony with the whole family. Of course, guys, because it's the Kardashians. Yeah. They can't afford it. Kim is a billionaire. Kylie is a billionaire. Chris can organize anything. You know if you want Jesus on your birthday, like Chris can Chris get can him. call. Chris can call. He'll come. She knows someone who knows someone who will bring Jesus mm. to your birthday party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't joke. Chris will make things happen that you've never seen. Mm. So besides um, Courtney's veil, which was fantastic, wow. the dress was yeah. amazing. I mean, but the, the dress, veil, the veil was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Northwest showed up. And she was looking good in her little black fit. It was mm -hmm. so cute, so very cute. I feel like this is Chloe's moment. Yes. She is giving everything that needs to be given. Model, body. Wow, I, I, I want to be Chloe. <laughs> and Chris was also there in her mumu. I know. Mumu. Okay, I'm, I'm quite unsure about Chris's outfit. I mean, like, she was there to just support her daughter who's probably, you know, she's been really getting, trying mm. to get Scott to be there and marry yes. her. So I, I guess like she just wanted to be free and feel happy. But she looked like and a yes, flamingo. Flam fly, fly, fly to your daughter. Pink Enjoy feathers. it. Enjoy mm. it. I don't know. Someone whose outfit <laughs> I really didn't really understand mm. was Kim. Yeah, I mean, it was so The so hair old. just looked so bad. I feel like I tell you guys every day, money can't buy you taste. Definitely. You can be you broke try. and have taste. I mean look at me guys. Clearly. Okay. <laughs> um she didn't look too bad. But someone uh, Kylie looked fantastic. The okay. dress was very simple, but I feel like it, it got the message across. Definitely. Kendall was a bit basic, but I still feel that she looked good. Absolutely. I loved her hair. Mm -mm. And everyone was in theme. The theme was something like gothic. I don't know. It was very mm. dark and I loved it. There was a lot of Dolce and Gabbana all over. Like, I feel like they were all wearing actually mm -hmm. that brand. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice when you have money, you can wear expensive things you that have no style. You can wear expensive things. Yeah. I, I can't wait. In fact. Absolutely. <laughs> Can we talk money just dress in nonsense? Like Kanye West did mm. in his ginormous boots taking a walkabout. But he loves uh, those boots. In fact he, he said he works out in them. He he does everything in them. I think at this point he might even shower in them. Because what? I'm really, really <laughs> surprised. This is Kanye West. He's convinced him and Jesus are cousins. All right, that's all the time we had for you today on The Tea. Don't forget to tune in next week, same time, same place. That is 7.30 p.m. on KTN Home. And follow our socials at KTN Home on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me and catch up with my shenanigans 
at Mbatha underscore Laura on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And of course, my beautiful guest host. We hope to be seeing you very soon. Definitely, I have enjoyed being here today so much. You can follow me on all my socials at Nyatelo on everything. That's N-Y-A-T-E-L-O. Yes. And of course, to all the celebrities that hate us, keep hating us and stay messy. Thank <laughs> you.